So yeah, if you're wondering, we we just restart because uh, the game starts with a pretty long cutscene at the beginning. Like legit, just, you start the game. The game has like two cutscenes, which should last like ten minutes. And then it boots you straight into gameplay. No main menu or anything. So I'm hoping it's actually going to boot into the cutscene again. There we go. Okay, so it is. <clears throat> so yeah, let them let's ban games to do this, please. We're kind of annoying, especially when they boot into um, like just immediately into gameplay, implying that I wouldn't want to look at like the game settings or anything first. Honestly, I think it's primarily Nintendo titles that do it. Mm. Age of Calamity. I think they do it because they expect you to know the controls at this point. Yeah, it's Nintendo. There's probably a bit. I mean, actually, for Nintendo, you, you think they would expect you to not know the controls? They're all, they're pretty pedantic about that. I must protect everyone. The thing is adorable. It's it's kind of cute. A little mini guardian. He got clipped. Too big, dumbass. That's what you get for putting on weight, Guardian. Man, I actually, I really love just this uh, Aztecian art style. I've always really loved it. Like, they're just the nice, simplistic, metaphorical style. Also, by the way, you guys can't actually tell, but this is the first Nintendo game I've felt for quite a while that's actually used the rumble features in the controller, which is kind of hilarious to me. Because this isn't even a Nintendo game. This was made by Koei Tecmo. Which was then, like, kind of supervised by Nintendo. And if you don't know who Koei Tecmo are, they're the guys who make the, the Dynasty Warriors games, which is why this is called Hyrule Warriors. It's just, a, it's just a Dynasty Warriors game, but with a Legend of Zelda coat of paint. Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. In our long history, we have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity Ganon's revival was prophesied. Yes, we have unearthed the Divine Beasts and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books will not protect us. This way surges a hole like we have never faced before. These dudes are no problem. Now, the yeah, these dudes are no problem. I faced like a hundred of these in the original Breath of the Wild. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule Field. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the calamity. Here, now, go forth and be brave for your kingdom! And this is where we were. So this is where the game just boots you into. No menu or anything. 
<clears throat> the thing Nintendo said was a thing, but seemingly abandoned it themselves. Every single gimmick that a console has at the start of its lifespan is fairly quickly abandoned. That's a strong attack. Hmm. Wow, they weren't joking about the frame rate on this. Unique action ZR. Wow, that's, this is... Spoiler alert, Your Highness, this is a prequel. Oh, um, it's forcing me to use a uh, gyro. That's why it feels awkward. There's a horde man. In fact, there's a couple hundred of them straight up ahead. Already under kills. Yeah, sounds like a Dynasty Warriors game to me. I've actually gone quite far ahead of the dudes I was supposed to be supporting, but they're handling it. Special attack is A. Oh, I probably should have done it near some enemies. Yeah. Well, we'll see it another time. Right. Bro, land my. Oh, no. I'm guessing there was like Mortifier. I thought that was uh, some expert landmines. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can actually tell where they are. I should actually be looking at the map. I am now. Hey. There's a strong attack hold and release to add extra attack to your combo. Man, dude, they weren't joking about the frame rate on this game being terrible. <laughs> Honestly, surprised they actually let this fly. It's not like there's like an excessive amount going on, right? I mean, yeah, there's like a hundred enemies on screen, but they're all basically just doing nothing. As is typical for a Hyrule Warriors. L plus B. Ah, I see. I keep forgetting I can actually do that with the the bow, but also aiming with the gyro kind of kind of stinky. I know a lot of people love it. People say to always use it in stuff like Splatoon, but I'm I'm kind of like nah. I've never liked using gyro in uh, Nintendo games personally. Oh, we're supposed to be going over here. Lock into a powerful foe. A moblin is powerful? Oof. I don't know why Twitch keeps telling me, uh. Ooh. Twitch keeps telling me, welcome to the chat room. I guess they really want to welcome me. Capture the outposts. 
We're already pretty near this one, so we may as well go for this one. <clears throat> oh shit, there's enemies over here. I mean, I guess we shouldn't really concern ourselves with, like, weak water. Just use our special gate at some point, because we uh, we already have it again. Like now. That would be a pretty good time. Sick. Got a broadsword. I do gotta tell you though, this frame rate. It's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Is there a big chonky boy coming? Oh. It's a tower? Oh shit, he's dead. <laughs> Close it last moment and press Y. <clears throat> I don't know why you keep expect or why you expect me to actually uh let's try it. Cause I honestly can't tell when they're attacking me. Tell me that wasn't the perfect dodge. Or plus Y, room of bombs. Oh, it's this one. And Cryonis. Big Pog. Oh, I just realized chat's in the way of the uh, the mini map. Not that it matters for a big chunk of it, but I could probably put it in the right corner, the right hand uh, corner, top right. That is specifically. Oh, we should be capturing that bus. We shouldn't be doing this. I mean, I guess it's probably yeah. There's uh, something in here for us to get. Give me. Where's a shroom? <clears throat> what's over? Uh, what's over here? Just a cluster of enemies. Why? 
Oh, when they're blocking, you do that to uh, make them unlock. I suppose. Ow. So yeah, whenever they, you just you just fit that in whenever they're blocking. Understandable. Were there archers of these in the in actual Breath of the Wild? I don't remember there being Archer uh, dudes. Could be wrong. Ooh, these dudes are blue. Wow. I wasn't expecting them to fucking throw their clubs at me. You know what's our special? Now we do have our special. So, what is the, the purpose of Cryonis? Just to power glide? It's also slightly odd to me that you can uh, Cryonis at any time. I suppose you, they'd have to do that to make it useful. It's not like you can fight over water the entire time, but still. Very odd. Yeah, yeet! Let's quickly eliminate half the forces. There we go. Priamus on charging enemies. Oh. Understandable. So when they charge you cry it's like you know, rock, paper, scissors, charge you cry on us. Understandable. Okay. It also helps they actually give you the uh, an indicator above your screen. Also, man, a fire whiz robe appeared. I really wish Twitch would, Twitch would stop telling me to, uh, count down number points. I really wish Twitch would stop telling me to fucking, uh, welcome myself to the channel because I'm already in it. All right. Change character. Oh, it's this direction. Generate symbols, absorb symbols? That is this one. Ooh. Or such sex with the A by hard over three symbols. Steal yourself. I am ready. Bog. Fire rod. Wait, I can do Cryonis as well? Oh! So I do a slightly different Cryonis. I probably do a slightly different bomb as well. This is a lot of shit to put on your player at the very beginning, by the way. Should 
should probably move over to Link. Because we should be mobilizing to get this uh, this outpost. So far, oh my god, does that pop in now? My dude's literally just instant transmission onto me. So far, it seems like an okay game. Dude, like you can actually juggle them. I'm guessing there isn't too much of a point to actually killing these these enemies that are just on the way to the outpost. I mean, there might be. It's, it's like a Dynasty Warriors game. There's always usually a reason. Not this way. This way. Find us on enemies in water. Oh, I have to be in the water. Makes sense. Oops. Misclick. Oh. These dudes are getting a mega fucked. Which is fine. Oh, cool. Acts like a launcher. Yeah, I think the main problem with this game so far, which is like a pretty evident problem from the very start. It's just the frame rate. The frame rate's nasty, dude. It's like real crunchy. Really seems to average somewhere between uh, 20 and like 25 FPS or even worse. I'm sure it doesn't look too pretty on stream either, in terms of uh, frame rate. Because that isn't my stream lagging, that's just the game. Oh, he's a charge enemy, is he? They're a charge enemy! Troop of Moblins has appeared. Where about? Uh, Alright, let's down here. Okay. It does look a bit choppy. Yeah, it's definitely not smooth. On the allied screen, which can be accessed after pressing this, you can give orders to characters you aren't controlling, such as telling them where to move. Oh. Yeah, move like down here. Let's say you can have two weapons at once. Hmm. That's block. This is aim, of course. Let's just recheck in the controls. Yeah, not seeing the point of paraglider just yet. Maybe I'll see the point of it uh, once I use it.
So I probably should use it to figure it out, you know? So that's B, okay. Yeah, still not seeing the point. Excuse me? It does look like you can also combo into your bow, which is quite nice. Now that's cool. Yeah, you can come onto your bow from pretty much any move. So there's not really any reason to not end on bow. I didn't expect that up. Oh, I can't. Huh. I'm also going the wrong way. Oops. Man, I am not used to Nintendo's controls. At all. Nintendo swaps the uh, the back and the uh, the for or the back or advancing button, so like instead of the bottom most face button, it's the rightmost face button on. Really? These are in the game? Oh no! Yeah, instead of the the usual way. It's the opposite, which is mildly annoying to get used to. But how do we lose the war if I have this much destructive power as a single person? If literally everyone on the Hyrule forces was like me, there would be zero problems. Ow. Didn't mean for that. I still don't see the point of, uh, of paragliding. Not sure why you wouldn't just like move into attacks. Come on, boy, he's charging me. Good. No, you want to. Oops. Ow. My man fucking stomped me, dude. We win. Wow, Twitch is really annoying right now.
Mm, I suppose you get, you get uh, more money from killing more enemies, so that's the reason to actually go out hunting. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, they show quite a lot on you in the, the very start of the game. It's kind of odd. Hmm. An inexplicable guardian. And a mysterious tower. I hate to say it, but we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. Really do wish, which would just your kingdom admirably. sell down, oh. Jesus. You look a marketable cute thing. Don't say that. You'll see it through the eyes of the marketing team. You made it. Can't you tell they want to have a successful product? Safe, yes, your highness. And I received the sheikah slate from Pora. Oh. <laughs> Crush it. Do a link. Crush it between your arms. Destroy it. The Sheikah slate conveyed the little guardian's purpose. It's a walking pipe bomb. Or to Egg Walker. A time in the midst of the calamity. Save Princess Zelda. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the Guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. His ascent. The room of Hyrule gave his ascent. Imagine Link picks it up and just it just blows up. He puts it underneath his shield and then just has a dent in it like a grenade. Man, I would love that. Please don't tell me this is going to be a trend in video games. Where, like, we have also a marketable cute thing there as well. But you, you can read half the script, but you can't read this. As for this time I've been guarding, is it truly deserving or is trust you must discern this beyond any doubt with... The aid of the researchers. May the goddess Helia watch over you as always. Hmm. We have unlocked two characters. Now if only we could actually explore this map. You should like to choose a destination to tackle problems across Hyrule. You acquired a bonus weapon. Pog. Training sword? Recommended level 3. Learn to cook. Yeah, I mean, why not? Don't see a reason not to. Well. Contributions to high roll. Complete quests and a reason to contribute there. Worked with the denizens across the kingdom to grow stronger and fight against the calamity. More meals? Bro, I can't wait to win the war by just making meals. With the materials link provided, the source can build a perfect classroom. 
Oh, cool. We get a, uh, a bonus attack now. More spamming time. Can I get another one? No. Damn, I should have killed more Lizophos. I suppose it makes sense just to continue on here. Wait, did this, did this say two player mode? Because we're not in two player mode. Oh, that's too big in two player mode. Understandable. Well, may as well put on the training sword, considering it literally is just the best. Can we make him naked? Hog. Oh, I mean, does it give me stats? It's just cosmetic. Because if so, we're going naked mode. Battlefield specific material drop rate, damage at full hearts. Cooking. Give me that. Quite satisfying. What a treat. Mm hmm. Hmm. Zelda, curious about the diminutive guardian, decided to accompany Impa on her journey to Kura's research facility in Hatena. With Link acting as bodyguard, they made their way to the ancient tech lab. Why does Link look like a freaking, uh, like a segmented leg uh, monster? Information right here will undoubtedly become handy in future battles. Hmm. Epic Nakey Link mode. What were you intending to do? Just like grab him by the the eye? Why is it so attached to me? Whatever could you be, little one? I suppose all we can do is wait for Robbie and the others at the lab to analyze it. Agreed, Your Highness. Your shoe is about to get sniped, though. Yeah, just let me use my wooden sword against these dudes. Better than my steel sword, anyway. Wow, that was a thrust! I didn't expect that. Man, he's just swinging though. The Sheik Shit Slice for spawning again. Don't give me Magnesis as well, dude. 
I already know how to use like half the shit. I don't know why I'm trying it, like repeatedly, it doesn't work. I also haven't managed to do the, uh, the flurry attacks yet. By the way, I did actually play the uh, the previous Hyrule Warriors game. Kind of. I played it on the, the 3DS version. Which apparently ended up being, like, garbage. Bog. Yeah, apparently the uh, the 3DS one was was trash. From what I remember, it had like pretty bad difficulty problems where the game was either too easy or too hard at specific moments, like when capturing outposts. Sometimes you'd uh, capture one, then the other one would get like immediately taken. Only wants me to use the um, the stasis to get rid of this dude, actually. That one I just ran into. You know what? I wonder if this will work. It did. Man, so much shit, dude. They really love just loading you with a bunch of uh, game mechanics at once, don't they? Man, I, I really do love that you can just stick your... Uh, your bow at the end of pretty much any combo you do. And you can like cancel into it as well. You don't actually have to finish the uh, the move you're doing. Dude, me saying he's carrying metal equipment. Okay. I guess that does make sense. Just use the weapon against them. Honestly, I can see this framework being like quite a massive problem for people who get like motion sick. I can also see giving people headaches. Do not engage the guardian, his power is too great. Oh. So we're just gonna face out. Oh, 
Ow. No. Okay, so you can knock back the, um... Do we have to flee? Because I, I could maybe kill it. You never know. If it does, like, the laser thing, maybe. Honestly, I think honest, it just might take too long. I don't think it's actually that difficult. I think it's just going to take too long. <laughs> Yeah, that's, it seems like it wouldn't actually be that difficult. It would just take a bit longer. I mean, avoid fighting the Guardian. Fighting the Guardian is fun. Is there no hope of escape? I mean, we could fight it. Got him! Activate the Unearthed Guardians. There's one down... Nope, not this way. Where is that on the map? Ouch. I should have just blocked. Yeah, I'll just block it. Seems like they want us to go uh, up this way. Gimme. I would like as many frame rate killing clones as possible, thank you. The moblin has begun an assault. There are even more marshals on the road to the rat lab now. We can't make it through like this. What is Link doing? Link is just doing what I what I left him. Should probably order uh order Link to get over here. God damn these Nintendo controls. Nah, uh, uh. Thank you, go here. I mean, logically speaking, we probably should go for the one that was down below us, but. Impa was already most of the way up here. You're gonna play Zelda. Hmm. Question is, where are we going? I guess we're going just up to the one I marked for Link. So Zelda uses nothing but the Sheikah Slate. I fear Rune. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I hope we can kind of do some of this stuff in uh, Breath of the Wild too. Excuse me? The fuck did we just summon? Forward. 
Oh, anything we put on the ground, we activate by that. Okay, understandable. Bigger version of the smaller guardian. Please die, sir. Princess fight like that, there's hardly any need for us. If everyone on this fucking army could fight like us, we would literally be in zero problems whatsoever. This would be a pretty hand handy win. I don't like your lightning. We killed it? No, we didn't. Oh. Oh, so that's that's how that's her hers work. It's like a uh, a photo. We actually still managed to kill the dude, by the way. If it wasn't a prequel, yeah. I mean this is a prequel, but it's not a canon prequel. I mean, there's still no reason we can't do this stuff in Breath of the Wild 2. Sheikah Slate still exists in that. We found the Guardian, at least. So what do we do now? How do we activate these guardians? Just clear the area out? I actually didn't order Impa to go over here, so... We should probably do that to get the guardian over here. That's probably why it's not activating, because he isn't actually here. Oh, we're supposed to stasis him there. This is on enemies using or performing spring attacks. Do a big fat activate. Shoot him. It's BB-8 with legs. Pretty much. My head is just getting bullied. Okay, let's go down here. Can we not? Oh, wait. Yeah, why can we not? There we go. Locked off? I think it was just on the wrong uh, floor. We are moving. Oops, wrong button. My bad. Oh shit. The guardian is standing here. 
Excuse me. Coming through. Is everyone coming? Hey, don't need to get all tanned for me. Well, the question is, where is Link going? There he's going. Oh, we have to go the, like the long way around. What is her full combo? That's it. Three hits. Okay. Understandable. Ow! Thank you. Did we get... I don't think we actually picked up the, um... The lightning rod, did we? Oh, no, we did. Also, Link just freaking walking his way over there without fighting any of the enemies. No, Link isn't walking his way. Oh, because I wasn't playing him. Or because I was playing him and I ordered everyone else to go there. Is Link here? No, like no one is here. Oh, lightning. So those are just always of stunning enemies, basically. Oh, there's a camp here, yeah. How do we actually get those enemies up there? Yeah, so far I'm actually really not that impressed with this game. Kind of just feels a bit like it's a one, like one year away from release. You know what I mean? Kind of feels weightless to play. On top of that, like the the myriad of performance problems, I'm genuinely surprised they exist. Like I, I heard before in reviews that there were. Pretty big performance problems. Freeze. Oh. So that's how Cryonis works for Zelda. Freeze. Like, can you tell what's going on half the time? And I don't mean just because there's like a ton of shit going on on screen. I mean because it's it, like the frame rate like gets real bad. And I said it like earlier, but I didn't really do it a lot. But I really think people will probably get like very motion sick from this. Can't jump off. Like, I'm not really even one, like, partial to motion sickness or, uh, migraines while playing games at all. I mean, I actively play VR and I'm 100% fine while playing it. This game is kind of giving me a headache. <laughs> Just because, like, of the frame rate, it's... Oof. It's ghastly, dude.
What also doesn't help is like the uh the auto run thing. So whenever you stop attacking, you your character like auto runs. Because if you're trying to just move around the battle or just trying to move around like a a bunch of enemies, it can get a little bit annoying. Press the wrong button. Also, why is there a wall jump button? What's happening? So Zelda's just like an AoE monster. She just most of her attacks are AoE based. What is that? Hmm. Is that like uh oh I think it might be lightning road ammo, maybe? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Here's the uh, the other guardian. Oh, press the wrong button again. But I am so used to just PS4 and Xbox controls. The target is currently out of range. Lure the enemy into the range. Let's do so, but carefully. So there it is. So we should lure it here. All right. Correct. To the targeted position. Oh, it wants us to lure it there. See, here I was thinking I was going to get to lure him to a place myself. I also marked the character I'm playing as well, just in case. You know? Well, let's go and find him, I suppose. Can we destroy this? No. Shame. Well, come here, you... Ball boy. Oh lord, he coming. Look at him go. Alright, so it looks like we can actually fight him now. I'm 
I'm not sure if we can, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually do the reflecting on impact. I'll assume no. Well, actually, no. No. Okay, so we can. There we go. Just grind him to death. Did I pick a drink up? No. Damn. Mm. Maybe if I hadn't bought a wooden freaking sword, we might have been able to do something against him just by a standard combat. But who knows? There's a Ganon version. Oh no. More powerful Sheikah Slate. You get that IO, iOS 6 update, dude. This is technology, the likes of which I've never laid eyes on. Which means we've got ourselves a brand new, never before witnessed Guardian Model! Devices like the Sheikah Slate, which are amplified by the power of such ancient relics, are but a meager fragment of such technology. Why is he doing this? Why is he it moving like this? All of us were able to use the Sheikah Slate. In addition, this here doohickey is loaded with data. Information we can't even fathom. Extracted some visual data from the Guardian's memory. Oh. Is that? Yep, no doubt about it. Hyrule Castle after Calamity Ganon has been revived. As you can see, we managed to extract some of the data, but much of it was fragmented. Thank God they got these sweeping Even landscape so, shots, honestly. If I analyze what we received, I may be able to make sense of more of it. This is the ruin the Calamity will bring upon all of Hyrule. If we allow this to pass, I fear all hope will be lost. Even everything we've done up until now likely won't be enough. If I don't succeed at sealing the Calamity... Never. This will not come to pass. Jokes on you, once you've seen your future, you can't stop it. To stop Calamity Ganon, it was crucial that they possess the sword that seals the darkness, the latent power dwelling within the Princess of Hyrule, and the might of the four divine beasts unearthed from across the land. However, the path to victory was strewn with obstacles. Korok Forest, where the legendary sword slept, had been overrun by monsters, and the Princess of Hyrule's power showed no signs of awakening. Mm. Lamenting the kingdom's plight, King Rome sent his daughter to gather pilots for the Divine Beasts. Alongside Link, whose brave conduct had earned him a role as her knight, Zelda would meet with each of the four candidates. I think I figured out why Twitch has been a piece of shit for me. 
You intend to let hmm. this relic follow you around, hmm? Yes. After talking to Pura and Robbie, we thought it would be best. I will remind you once again. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear. I understand. And I will honor my duty. So the reason my Twitch is being real funky right now is because I forgot to turn my VPN off. I mean, I guess it's nice to show that uh, my stream functions just fine with the VPN on, but still, mildly annoying that I forgot. But I haven't, I haven't streamed in like a few days, so I think it's, that's, that's acceptable. Acceptable thing to forget. Hmm. The power of the Guardian from the future has opened the path to battlefield to a battlefield from another world. Travel there to tackle new challenges. Interesting. Can you go to these at any level? Or any... I mean, I suppose. Hmm. All right. Well, honestly, I think I'm pretty much done for now. Still just kind of a bit tired and, uh, you know, the usual tiredness from b having been ill for like a week. So, stamina in very high. And, not gonna lie, I'm a little bored. The game so far is a bit of a snooze fest. Which, for a game, like, designed around having hordes of it. I mean, honestly, I think the problem is, just, again, going to beat a dead horse, but like, the frame rate is so bad. Can I... Yeah, there's a system. Can I, like, change anything? Push control aiming. Turn that off. I don't want it. Operation. Display control subtitles. No. So there's no, like, performance mode where I could actually make it have a stable 30 FPS? Yeah. Damn. So, like, being kind of bored on top of having to sit through that freaking frame rate. Ugh. I might play it. Uh, I might play it on stream again. I'm not sure. I haven't really decided yet. If not, I might just play it offline. But I don't know. I don't even know if I really want to do that. I mean, if I don't want to play a game offline, there's maybe a good chance I maybe don't want to play it on stream either. <laughs> yeah. I think we sh we'll be we'll be done for now. We can and I'll decide if I can stream it again later on. Man, that is hard to stomach through. They really should have just ironed out that frame rate, but they didn't. Genuinely, Hyrule Warriors on 3DS runs better than this. It's kind of sad. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, I should see you later. I think. Yeah, normal streaming schedule will return like tomorrow or something, probably. Should have the time then. Also, I haven't been on uh, on caffeine either for quite a while. For a while. Like, I've been drinking a, a soda every now and then. But aside from that, like, having a bit of a caffeine deficiency after basically drinking nothing but it for like six months. 
also probably doing my stamina in. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, I should see you later.